Don, um, have, do you get a lot of interview requests? Well, we did earlier years, but nothing, you know, really in the last few years or so. You were saying before we, we started, how's your memory with, with some of this stuff? Well, what do you mean? I mean, uh, you know, I had him since he was nine years old. He lived with me. And uh, then I met Jennifer and we got married. And, and we had him all the way up to about he's 15 years old because in that, between that time and stuff, he, you know, had problems and stuff with the uh, other kids and uh, I don't know, he just, we tried with what we could. We had some really good times and everything too. We used to go camping all the time and and all, all three towheads, you know, together. And, <laughs> you know, it was a lot, of, a lot of good times. He played baseball, stuff, and he, you know, did all of his artwork and, and, uh, you know, he used to do little puppet shows and things, and all. Even when he was a young kid, he uh, he was a very good entertainer, because every the you know the Wendy's family was a big family, and he was a center of attention. So, you know, he was like a normal kid then, and then when he got older, it just started changing. Like so. Mainly probably because of divorce. I think the divorce sort of set him off, like, to where, you know, he resented it. And, I don't know. Just did, did, did his own thing, you know. <laughs> it's just, we really, I don't know, we tried the best we could and everything with him, but, you know, he was a talented person. Everything I think he was just probably you know how sort of like geniuses are and stuff like that. He was just you know way far ahead of everybody else and you know did his own thing and you know how people that got a lot of talent and stuff like that usually have a little problem or anything. So and I think there's one thing that I said at one time that I was never going to get married again. And I think he took that for a word. So, and I don't know if that did it or what, but I don't know. He, me, you know, as you say, I'm easy going and stuff. And then all through the, you know, when I had him, it was great and everything. You know, we had good times together. And it's just, I don't know how it, guess I could have been a better father, but we just had a lot of problems with him. And I think, you know, he just rebelled and stuff. And what sort but, of problems? Well, he'd pick on the other kids and, you know, he'd get in trouble at school. And he wouldn't mind and stuff like that. So. What do you mean he wouldn't mind? Well, you know, when you ask him to do stuff or anything like that. And when you ask him to do stuff, what would happen? Well, he wouldn't do it or wouldn't do it properly. Or... Rebellious? So, yeah, he was. When did you first notice that Kurt was special artistically? Oh, I remember when I was two years old, <laughs> you know. He would perform for everybody, played the drums and, you know, did dances and stuff and dressed up and he put on little shows all the time. It was very, it was encouraged by Wendy's side of the family and stuff, so, because my family wasn't too close, we're not very loving or anything like that, so, until I met Jennifer. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean your family wasn't very loving? Well, there was no love in our family. In my family, my mom and dad, because they were my dad was from the old, you know, how the old people, <laughs> how to raise kids and stuff and everything like that. So it's his way or the highway, and we got beat with a belt. And 
So I, you know, that's the way I was brought up. So maybe I carried a little bit of that with me too, so.